Hey, hey, starlights. What's going on, my lovely earth signs? I know you guys are like, Crystal, what the hell is going on? I was under the weather yesterday. I do sincerely apologize for not getting Wellness Wednesdays out, but I'm going to power through this and get all six out today. So that way we're going to go ahead and start with our earth signs. Of course, we're going to start with our message of the day. What's been going on with you guys? What have we been up to? What have we been doing? So, um, I, yes, like I said, I was under the weather yesterday and I slept a full 11 and a half to 12 hours. So with you guys, what have you guys been up to today? What, what's changed for you? What's, what's been growing for you? Have you been able to take a rest? Have you been able to give yourself self-care? Because when we're going through a lot or we're just working super hard, are you taking care of yourself as you should? Are you building yourself up as you should? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. What's our game plan for ourselves? What are we doing to build ourselves? Me, I'm trying to take it easy. I'm trying to go through things in my life, whether it's mentally, emotionally, even physically, just go through things that I no longer need and release them. So that big rest, something I needed and I was not giving myself. So my body decided to say, Crystal, yeah, you need rest. So since you're not going to do that, I'm going to do it for you. And that I did. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Actually, what I want to do is get some sage going. Because I know that with a lot of stuff building within us, growing within us, we have to cleanse. Cleansing is the biggest thing right now. I do want to get this on. So I have a candle. I have different candles. And I try to give myself time and space. But if you're able to find different types of candles for wisdom, for love, I have one that's for making miracles because... I need a miracle. I need a hero. So I know that's in God. So I have been resting and relying on him heavily because the only way that I've been able to get through everything is in him and through him. And I know that it's all peace. So we're removing toxicity. We're removing negativity. We're removing anything that's not supposed to be. We're keeping our hearts and our minds and our spirits uplifted. I thank you so much for allowing us to enter into the veil and grow. Ooh, cut the deck and got a beautiful card. All right. Message of the day for our earth signs, please. Message of the day for our earth signs. Sun, moon, rising. What messages for our earth signs do we have today? Message for our earth signs. Moving forward. Oh, isn't this beautiful? This is absolutely stunning. The card that flew out is the six of wands victory moving on moving forward and look at this one it's a hot air balloon with a ship setting sail and moving forward knowing that i have to move forward i have to uplift and i will find my victory in constantly removing what isn't moving toward what is underneath the deck you have the ace of air ace of i'm sorry not ace the page of air which is the page of swords Swords is about your logic, fire is about your passion. And that is a beautiful duo together. When I tell you it's something amazing, a fire sign and an air sign. Oh. Behind that, look at yourself. Look at yourself. Behind the page of air, you have the world card with the king of pentacles. And you have the wheel of fortune. Come on, guys. Whatever you're going through, good, bad, tough, crazy, extreme, you're going to see that you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. I love it. I absolutely love it. That, that's just wow. Okay, let's go ahead and get this 
red. Doo -doo -doo. That's air. There we go. Six of wands, six of fire. Stepping into the limelight, being an enlightened influencer. I genuinely model my transformations so that another might be inspired. I put my light atop a hill so it can shine forth, helping others to find their way. I remain aware of shadows and people who may have trouble basking in the warmth of the light of higher awareness. I bless them, but do not dim my own light beacon. It is a time to renew my trust that I am contributing to the highest good of all in my own unique way. Look here. You are going to go through some things that people will not fully understand, especially those that are not moving in the spirit. They're not going to get it and it's okay. And then you are going to meet those that are growing in the spirit, but haven't attained that warmth in themselves. So being you helps them understand it's okay to be them. No, they're not going to be on this amazing, super easy journey, but they're going to see that once they go through this process and once they get through all this, their light is going to shine just like theirs. And it's going to be building up to where I'm not the same. I'm different, but I still have my light to shine because everybody's like, I want to be this. I want to be this. Does your light shine inwardly or is it something right here on the surface? Because it needs to come from within. Don't lose yourself for for like the ideas and wants of other people. Be you. Lift up and be you. No matter what. All right, let's go to our air. All right, page of air. New ideas, a theory not yet proven, curiosity, new focus. This calls a greater investigation as we've only scratched the surface. I don't really know. That's interesting. If I explore this way of thinking, what can I learn? Go outside the box. Learn things that you've been wanting to do, even if you don't fully understand them. Learn them. Grow in them. Make sure that the things that you're pouring into yourself are coming from, one, reputable sources, two, bringing you closer to spirit, closer to God. So you're seeing, oh, as I grow and ascend more, I'm learning more. I'm, I'm building more so I can create new achievements once I come out of my comfort zone and go towards things that I've been wanting to do, but I've been too afraid to do. You're curious about it, but you really want to know. Go to it. So we're going to do, I'm going to actually go to under and I want to definitely get the world card and get the king of pentacles because we are in earth right now. This is lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get into our major arcanas. Give me, there we go. World perspective. I've been called to shift my perspective on my life now. When I remember, I am first and foremost, and and um, I am first and foremost an immortal soul experiencing life as a human being. I have no fear. I see clearly that I am a powerful co-creator of divine partnership with spirit, aligning myself with spirit remaining unattached to the outcome. I am a codient of miracles. That actually resonated with myself. Sometimes in life, you, you're so set to the plan that you've built for yourself or set to the plan that family has built for you, you lose sight of the plan that spirit has for you. Know that you can create whichever you so choose. You align yourself with spirit. You set free the expectations of others, their wants, their needs, their ideals. If it's not of spirit, not of you, build past that. It's, it's time to make a move. It's time to change where you are because where you have thought has kept you in the box that you're in and you're wanting to be free. So for you wanting to be free, you have to go further than where you usually go. 
in here, in here, and definitely with the way that you speak. All right. So we have King of Earth, King of Pentacles, enterprising, philanthrop uh, philanthropy, ability to attach abundant, abundant wealth. Let's see. Oh, a reliable leader. I love this. I, I love this one. Okay. I have trust and faith in the invisible and know it will manifest into the realm of form the way that I need it to be. Opportunities can be found anywhere and everywhere because I am comp oh, duh, competent. Because I am competent and committed, I am ready for abundance to manifest now in the world of conditions in a form that aligns with my highest good. I manifest all that I desire, consciously aware of the needs to stay focused and grounded in the everyday work is required. King of Pentacles is a very, very strong leader, a very, very talented individual, very logical, always looks out for the highest good of themselves as well as those around them and their families and their love lives. Remember, Kings and Queens is that in tarot's objective is not talking about an actual gender. It's talking about that divine masculine vibe, the divine feminine vibe. That's pouring into yourself. Know that we are divine masculine and divine feminine. We are just balancing in between the two and understand that there's something that is building up in you and you have to go outside of what your usual thought processes are, especially when things are exploding in your face. Something good is coming from it. It's not what you're expecting to and it tears you down. You can't wallow in self-pity because it didn't go the way that you want or something detrimental happened. Find the positive effect that comes from that. So maybe you're in a tower moment and in that tower moment, you finally get to see past what you've built up because what you build up masks that journey that you're supposed to get. It's like that building that blocks the sun. You're used to waking up and seeing a beautiful sunrise and they put up a building and it blocks all of that. So your happy is gone. Go beyond that. You're better. All right. So we're going to roll the dice. First earth sign that we get is who we're reading. Taurus it is. All right. I will see you guys a little bit later on. Definitely getting into Taurus. Thank you so much for staying with me. I apologize for my tardiness, but it is coming up soon. All right, Starlights. Love you, love you. Love, light, and happiness.